Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today we are doing my July book haul revisit. So we're going way back to July of 2018, seeing what I bought, and we're going to pick one from all of that that I'll read this July. So let's get into it. Twelve books that I bought in July of 2018 and I've only read two so I've got quite a few to choose from. Now something that I used to do with this video if you don't know I do this kind of video every single month. It's kind of a way to kind of assess what I've bought in the past, keep my buying habits in check and looking at how many of them I've read. Uh, but what I've done in the past is I have disclosed what I have kept and what I've read and what I've donated. Now with my Con Marie with Me, which is a new series that I'm doing, that does not work with this. Like I knew when I started Con Marie with Me that this could happen. So there are a couple of books in here that I may have bought that did not make it to uh, the list like to stay on my shelf essentially um, so I'm gonna ditch saying the books that I've kept or the books that I've donated I'm I'm going to try and avoid talking about that in these videos going forward so that because the Marie with me I have so many of them like they are booked into January of 2020 so yeah I hope you guys don't mind, but anyway, maybe you guys don't care whatsoever. I just wanted to say that. Anyway, let us get into the books that I bought in July of 2018. Okay, first up is The Night Visitor. I got this from Quirkus Books, and this is a thriller, and it's the story of a woman who's done very well for herself, and she's at this event for her book launch, and she's done this biography about this woman, I believe. And um, she's she's scanning the crowd because she's very, very afraid of someone who she knows might show up. And it was her assistant who knows everything about her, including all of her secrets. Um, so, yes, that is The Night Visitor. I also got Dear Mrs. Bird. It is a World War II story about... A woman who works at a newspaper and there's this column called Dear Mrs. Bird she realizes that um, Dear Miss, Mrs. Bird is not really answering the questions very well or she's not answering all of the questions that comes in and so she takes it upon herself to start responding which I think is really cute I also received Daughters of the Lake which is like a thriller, gothic -y thriller about this woman who goes to this cottage. I think she's had a divorce or something and she's really not doing well. She, so she goes to the family cottage and she sees floating in the river a dead woman and a, a dead baby that she's holding. And I think it's like, it must be a ghost, right? Sounds really, really fun. The Boy at the Keyhole is a book that I've read. And this is about a little boy whose mother kind of vanished in the middle of the night, didn't say goodbye, and he gets postcards from her, but he's starting to wonder whether or not it's actually his nanny writing the letter letters and whether the nanny might have killed her. I kind of felt so-so about that one. I wasn't blown away. I wanted more. A Noise Downstairs is about a writer who goes through a traumatic event and after that traumatic event, he starts thinking that his typewriter might be possessed. Which is so weird, but it also sounds like so much fun. Vox is a, a kind of post-apocalyptic, dystopian uh, book about a world in which women can't really speak. I think they can say a hundred words a day or less. And if they say more than a hundred words a day, they get this shock that goes through their body. And it's about, I guess, how they deal with it and maybe how they rise up against it. Very Handmaid's Tale-esque. Disappearance at Devil's Rock is Paul Tremblay. Oh my goodness, I still haven't read it, 
but I want to. And this is about basically a haunting. It is about a a little boy who goes missing and the mother is terrified that he's dead and she does start being visited by some sort of ghost. At least that's as far as I know about that book. And then The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane is about a young, young woman who becomes pregnant out of wedlock and usually what they would do is kill the baby once the baby comes. Um, but she decides to take the baby away um, and and try to find it a home. She leaves it somewhere and it is about her story and the story of, I think, the woman who gets the baby and their like lives interlink at some point. Never Let You Go is a book that I've read and it's very hard to describe this book without giving away practically everything. So I will say it's sci-fi and it's set at a school and you know that there's something different about the the school and the kids that go to the school and it's about the friendships that they make with one another but like that book stays with you. I really enjoyed that one. The Courtesan is about a girl who I think this is the one where it's it's about a girl who um is expected to be a courtesan because her mother was a courtesan and she decides to seek a different way. Is that it? I think so. And I think we follow her mother's storyline and her own. Wicked Girls is about two girls who are thought to have committed, I believe, murder and it's diving into their minds. And then the last one is What Happened? And genuinely, what happened to that book? Because I don't even recognize that title. What happened? No idea. No idea. That is really weird. Anyway, so I've got 12 books um, that I bought, um, two that I've read, so I have 10 to choose from. Because it's the summer, I knew I wanted to read something scary. So for me, it was definitely between the disappearance of Devil's Rock because I love me some Paul Tremblay. And then it was also between that and The Night Visitor. And I think I've decided to go with The Night Visitor because, well, first of all, it sounds fantastic. Um, and also it was on my summer TBR for the thrillers that I wanna read for summer. So it just worked out perfectly. So I am going to pick this up in July. I am genuinely so excited for this. It's supposed to be great. I was, um, I found out about this book because it's not really well known. I found out about it over on the Crime by the Book blog. If you haven't subscribed to that blog, oh my god, please do. It's so good. It was, it's really addictive. Um, if you like thrillers. If you don't like thrillers, there's nothing there for you. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm going to read The Night Visitor. Let me know in the comments below if you wanted me to pick something else or what you would have picked out of those books. I'd love to know. And I hope you're doing well. I'll talk with you soon. Bye, guys.